The human eye is a complex organ that provides visual sensory information to the brain. Each part of the eye performs a specific function. The retina is responsible for receiving light information. Its pigmented layer helps to capture light. The retina's sensory layer has rod and cone photoreceptors that detect and translate light information into nerve impulses. The signal is passed through the retina's layers of neurons and carried to the optic nerve located at the back of the eye, where the signal is gathered and sent to the brain. Degenerative diseases of the eye, such as retinitis pigmentosa, affect the photoreceptors and cause damage to this pathway of information in the retina, leading to irreversible vision loss. Most adult organs, like the eye, are not capable of repairing their damaged or diseased cells. However, stem cells have the potential to replace damaged cells with healthy ones. This is because stem cells can generate new cells of the same tissue type in which they are found. Current research in transplanting photoreceptors derived from adult stem cells may provide hope for patients afflicted by these diseases. Certain parts of the adult body maintain a population of dormant stem cells. One of these populations can be found in the retina of the eye. These retinal stem cells are located within the dark ring around the iris in the pigmented epithelium near the ciliary margin. Of these cells, about 1 in 500 are actual stem cells. Researchers now can activate them to produce new, functional photoreceptors in the lab. A single retinal stem cell can proliferate to make up to 10,000 cells in one week. With the help of special factors, 90% can be induced to become photoreceptors. Transplanting the new photoreceptors is no easy task. Cells are injected in the subretinal space between the pigmented and non-pigmented layers of the retina. But barriers often prevent them from migrating into the damaged areas. Researchers at the University of Toronto are investigating the use of a hydrogel scaffolding to help transplanted cells navigate to the right location. The scaffold material helps spread them out more evenly and contains factors to help them survive and integrate in the correct orientation. The hydrogel is biodegradable and disappears after seven days. To restore damaged vision, the cells have to complete the transformation into mature photoreceptors by producing optic discs to receive light, establish connections with existing downstream retinal cells, and transmit signal information. In the lab, researchers have been successful in restoring some vision to mice with damaged retinas. Currently, cells from human eye organ donations are being used for transplantation research. Although there is a lot of promise in stem cell transplantation therapy, there are still many challenges to overcome. Due to their nature, stem cells can proliferate uncontrollably and cause tumors. And as with any transplantation, there are hurdles to match donor cells with the recipient. But the hope is that one day, photoreceptors derived from retinal stem cells may be used to treat diseases like retinitis pigmentosa.